Hi, uh, this is Cameron Greger. I um, am going to demonstrate setting up uh, JRebel for Domino. Um, this video is targeted at plugin developers for Domino um, who would like to not be restarting their server all the time. Um, so what's JRebel? It's a product um, that you do have to pay for, but there's a two week evaluation if you want to try it out. Um, but it will um, reload class files as they are changed without needing to redeploy, restart the server. So demonstration of life without JRebel. I've got a simple bean that uh, has a, a message. If we look at our, um, it's just a, a bean with a message uh, property. And I'm developing that bean in, uh, in Eclipse, in a plugin. And that's the message there. Today is Thursday. Now the the uh, plugin development environment is set up to um, to reload the changes every time I restart using the uh, OSGI debug configuration from um, the OpenNTF X Pages SDK. So if I did want to change this message uh, to say tomorrow is Friday, I could save it. It is saved and uh, compiled, but this class file won't get picked up until uh, the next restart. So we can see that nothing's uh, updating there. But if I was to restart my task, we would see um, it will reload uh, from my clips and you can see we're already waiting a few seconds here just to see if it works I'll log in again and now it says tomorrow is Friday so the JRebel uh, will eliminate that uh, by automatically watching the class files and reloading them okay so first we'll install JRebel into our clips uh, environment uh, development environment and then we'll configure the server. Uh, the first thing you want to do though is to register for your free uh, trial license because you'll need that to activate it. Um, and then to install it we do it from within Eclipse and we go to help Eclipse Marketplace and I'll just pull that down so it's visible. You just wait while the marketplace just refreshes Okay, my marketplace has refreshed. I'll just cut that out. Now search for JRebel. Don't let me type JRebel. And there's JRebel for Eclipse. And we're going to install that one. Um, I don't use M2 Eclipse, the Maven, so I won't install that. And I'm just going to guess I need that one, but at least the required one. And we'll just let that um, go on through. That'll probably take longer than um, it did for me to be there um, the first time. So I'll accept the license agreement and let it install. I'll skip this bit. Okay, so it just carried on and installed and then it's prompted me to restart Eclipse. So I'll, I'll restart now. And hopefully we've got our JRebel plugins installed and we can go on from there. Just launching our workspace. Okay, so it's come up with a welcome screen for JRebel. And uh, let's tick on to that to see what it tells us. So the first thing it wants to know is that um, we have a license so you should have got a license you could probably register here too if you didn't before but I've already got the license um, that I would paste in so let's just see if this works copy I'll paste my license in and then it's taken me off to a web page to say thanks for trying it um, and it'll give us some instructions on how to enable the uh, agent for 
the server. So we're up to step three. And uh, there's options that are run by a IDE. And um, this is for people who develop and launch their server from Eclipse, but uh, we don't do that uh, because we uh, the Domino server is actually the uh, the entity that starts the uh, the Java HTTP JVM, so not us. So we we need to do something different, and it's um, similar to uh, the steps involved to configure the your kit profiler if you've seen David Leedy's uh, video on setting that up or even in the um, I think it's the Mastering X pages book about setting up the XSP profiler so we're going to need to put um, some j options in the j in a Java options file so I'll show you how we do that okay so uh, the way I did it, I uh, actually went back to Eclipse and um, we will open the configuration and uh, how do you run your server? Well, it's sort of by the command line interface, it's just that Domino does it and uh, we're going to choose Java 5 Plus and choose the standalone application. Uh, there is one here with IBM JDK, I didn't need to do this one. Um, but instead, I just did this one standalone application. So, what it wants to do is add a Java agent to the command line, and to do that through Domino, we need to put that in a, uh, an options file. So, we'll just copy that string to the clipboard, and we're going to start up a, um, a new text file. I've actually already created one, I think. Let me just check. Oh, no, I haven't. So I'll just create that now. So we'll um, I'll just get a new blank text file. I'll paste that string in. And we're just going to change it a little bit. Uh, we're going to get rid of that part. And uh, we don't need the bottom part, I found. Just one of this. Just the Java agent jrebel.jar. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I don't need the last bit, but hopefully, if some other people evaluate it, they might tell me um, if I'm wrong. But let's save that in. Uh, I'm going to save it in the Domino directory as. Uh, jrebel options file. The name doesn't have to matter, but just makes sense. Uh, and it's just a text file. So that's our options file, and now we just need to tell Domino to use it. So that's to do with the notes any entry. Uh, you could actually add, uh, enter that in the text file, or I instead um, like to manage it using the configuration documents. So um, I've put it in here in the notes any sections uh, settings Java options file and that's the path to that text file. Um, but you could just directly edit the notes INI file on, on your server if that's how you like to change it. Okay so we've configured the server and now let's configure the projects um, to be picked up. So if we go to this projects tab of the JRebel configuration page, um, we will select the three projects that we want to enable JRebel. You notice there's two columns here, um, one's for the normal uh, method and this is the remote server method, but our Domino server is on the same computer, so we're just using this method. If you look at the projects, what that did, um, that process did was put the rebel.xml files in to the source directories, which should tell the server to pick up any changes. Uh, let's leave that as it was. Tomorrow is Friday. And uh, now I'll start up my server, and the message should 
initially be tomorrow is Friday. So as we start up, we should see a message here from, uh, there it is, from J Rebel, saying that it's activated and the license is uh, valid. At the end, uh, we should also see these statements saying that J Rebel is monitoring those directories. So uh, the initial class was saying tomorrow is Friday, uh, and I will just log in, and we've got tomorrow is Friday. So now our hope is if we change that message to something else, I don't know why that's not working. I can't wait for the weekend and save. Now, hopefully the magic happens. Uh, if we look in the console after we reload, we can see I can't wait for the weekend. And uh, it says it was reloading that class now. So that's good news. Um, if we were to change it again, um, we can say next week. And it should also be picked up again. is good. However, if we want to add a new method, just call it a private method, uh, get another message, and uh, we return uh, another message. And let's change this method so that it will call the other one. So we're introducing a new method to the class. Uh, we'll see what happens. Another message. Oh, it worked. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, so that's the demo of um, getting JRebel working with Domino. I've only used it for a day, so I don't um, know too many ins and outs of how well it works, but um, it seems to be working okay. Uh, on my other machine, I did have a problem um, when I was changing a, a constructor of a, a, one of the controls, um, it was throwing a Java security exception, and I had to um, enable the the old permissions. I think that's the right syntax. I'm not sure um, in the Java policy file, but um, I didn't have, actually have that set up at all on this machine, so it didn't wasn't required for this demo. So uh, I'm not sure what was going on there yet, but if, um, if that comes up for you, maybe have a look at that. Um, but yeah, let us know how you go. And um, yeah, hopefully it speeds up development of Domino plugins.